Hello gin lovers, welcome back, I'm Bobby Freeman. Now just when we thought we'd tried every single Bombay Sapphire, following my Bombay Sapphire special video the other week, the buggers go and bring another one out. My friends, feast your little eyes upon this, the Bombay Bramble. The Bombay Bramble, sounds a bit like a country dance, doesn't it? Anyway, this represents a bit of a break away from the normal practices of Bombay Sapphire, because that, that, again, those of you, uh, my regular viewers and subscribers, will know my rather tenuous uh, sort of history with this brand. Namely, I'm not a big fan of it, particularly the classic sort of uh, Bombay Sapphire that you see everywhere. I like the English Garden, and I like the uh, Bombay Dry Original, but the rest of them I, I don't really have any time for, as you probably you will know if you've seen my other videos. So I'm quite excited to try this one today because, as I say, it is a bit of a break from the norm. So let's see what they say about it. In fact, they don't have much about it on the website, so I've taken a screenshot of what they say about it on the back of the bottle. So let's have a quick look, shall we? A creative expression of our original Bombay dry gin, bursting with natural flavours of blackberries and raspberries. A real fruit infusion gives a distinct colour and natural flavour with no added sugar. Bombay Bramble, using our London dry gin at its heart, is inspired by the modern classic gin cocktail, the Bramble, created in 1984. No surprises there. Now, this is where it gets really interesting for me. I really, really love the Bramble cocktail. It, it, I actually did a Bramble cocktail video not long ago. Uh, go and check it out. It, 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 it'll knock your socks off. Um, but I, it's probably one of my favourite cocktails. Particularly, it's a bit strange because I, I would say, generally speaking, I don't really like blackberries, or the taste of blackberries. However, put it in a drink, I am all over that shit. It is amazing. That sort of lemon and eat, sort of, a sort of lemon and eat, oh God. The lemon and eat, the lemon and the lemon and those sharp lemony flavours mixed with the sort of the intense fruitiness and sweetness of that blackberry is just, it's out of this world. And I love the way the little tendrils sort of pour down through the ice as well. It's absolutely amazing. So I cannot wait. I cannot wait to try this today. So my friends, let's get the old top off, shall we? No cork. Bombay never ever do a cork. I don't know why. So we're going to be trying this with tonic today. So let's get a little... Oh, would you look at the colour of that, my friends. I don't know if you can see that. Whoops, I dropped the pen off the table. Look at the colour of that little fellow. That is pretty intense. So let's get it up the old snitcher for a sniff test, shall we? So... Mm, oh, ah, ha, ha, ha. Ooh, it's a che oh, you cheeky, cheeky gin. It almost had me then. It almost had me because there is, as you'd expect, a very intense sort of berry, fruity heartiness in there, which is very, very nice. However, it is, it's closely followed. That rushes into the nostrils first, but it is closely followed, hot on the heels, by that kind of chemically Bombay sapphire taste, which I don't bloody well like. However, you never know. Oh, maybe it will offset it. Maybe it will offset it enough to make it nice. So let's get the old tonic in there, shall we? See how we get on. So nice new bottle of tonic. Let's put just a tiny bit in there. Maybe that much. Because don't forget, like I say, it is a weaker uh, ABV because, of course, anything less than 37.5% ABV becomes a gin liqueur. And most fruity gins hang around, hover around the 37.5, just literally teetering on the crevasse of becoming a gin liqueur. So, my friends, let's get it in the mouth, shall we? So, Bombay Bramble Cheers. I'm going to give that a bit of time to... Ooh, this is interesting. This is interesting because you know what? I thought it was going to be sweeter than that. I thought it was going to be an intense, sweet, fruity blast. A bit like the um, Beef Eater Pink Strawberry was. That was incredibly concentrated strawberry fruitiness. This, let me have another confirmation slurp. Hang on. George, yeah, I'm right. Do you know what? That's actually, despite what you think of, for that, look how thick, you can barely see me through that glass. That looks like thick, intense flavors in there. But, you know what? It's actually a little bit weak. Let me pep it up a little bit more. So it's mostly gin in there now. Let's have another go. Not much, not much more different to be honest. That's a real kind of, 
I, do you know what? I was hoping that this might be, because I'm always, you know, I don't like to be negative. I don't like to be negative in, the, in these reviews. So I like to give Bombay a fair crack of the whip. That's why I tried all of them. And I actually, you know, when I like them, I told you about it because I'm always honest. That, to me, it's not, it's not what I was expecting that to be unpleasant, generally unpleasant, like the classic Bombay Sapphire, I believe it is, in my opinion. It's just a little bit of a letdown. It's, it's kind of flat. It's, they said there was no added sugar in there which I know people don't like to have sugar at the moment. There's a bit of a war on sugar. You can't have sugar, it's the worst thing ever. But you know what? Sugar's pretty damn nice. <laughs> it's pretty popular sugar. It has been throughout this for centuries and centuries. Uh, there's probably wars fought over it. And it's nice to have something sweet. Well, if you're gonna have a fruity gym, the whole point about it is it's supposed to be sweet and fruity. But I think they've let the sales down. I think they missed the trick here. I'm not, it's, it's, it's very, very, it's, it's quite bland. It's quite bland. You'd struggle to say that that is blackberry. What was it? Blackberry and raspberry. What, well, I'll tell you what. I don't know how many blackberries and raspberries you put in there, but I'll tell you this. You're not putting enough. There ain't enough in there. So Bombay Sapphire, once again, this is a little bit disappointing. What have, what, stop making these gins that make me make negative videos. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's flat. It's, it's disappointing. And I'm, I'm extremely sad. So I hope you're happy with yourselves. Now, just to give it every last chance we possibly can, be totally fair, I'm going to try it neat as well. So here we go. This is your last chance, buddy, all right? Here we go, your final warning. So, uh, Bombay Bramble neat. <laughs> nope, nope. Do you know what? For a split second there, I thought it was going to... It obviously was... Uh, oh, my God, the aftertaste is truly foul. It's truly foul. I, you know, I think that's even worse than the, the, the than the actual classic Bombay. I mean, I, for a second there, I thought it was going to do it as I touched my lips, but the, it, it sort of a, that sharp, any sort of taste just dissipated immediately, and it just left it completely flat and a quite vile aftertaste. So, God damn you, it's still rubbish even when it's neat. Now then, we, we can talk about price because, you know, if you want to buy it, it's, it's kind of pointless really when I've sort of described something like that. It, the price is not too bad, you know. It's £23, about $27, 25 euros. It's, but to be honest, I mean, th that is a cheap, pretty cheap gin as they go. That is a cheap gin. But to be honest, I would not bother. I would not bother with that. If you want a Blackberry one, which, what, did we have another Blackberry one before? I don't think so. Do you know what I would be inclined to do with that? I would be inclined to pep it up with a bit of the Blackberry liqueur that you use for a Bramble. But what's the point? What's the point in calling this a Bombay Bramble if it doesn't, you know, wouldn't sort of give you that same sensation that a Bramble would? You know what I, I am going to do as well, but I, I don't think it's going to be very good. I am going to use this making a, a, a Bramble just to sort of see if it sort of lives up to its name says that'll be a separate video but for now my friends ah oh, god damn it Bombay Sapphire god damn you I, I always say to you you guys have hundreds of years or over a hundred years experience in making gin what you've lost the passion you have lost that passion okay there are a couple of good ones granted but I tell you what there's a lot of gins out there that are a hell of a lot bloody well better and this, I really thought this was going to come through and be something really fun, but that does not deliver what it promises with that gorgeous, thick, viscous colour. So, my friends, I'm sorry once again to give such a negative review, but as you know, I promise to always be honest with you, and that's what I'm doing today. This is a bit, yeah, it's just, just not up to scratch, I'm afraid, not up to scratch. So, my friends, that's me done for another day. What a negative video today, and what a disappointment, Bombay. But anyway, if you, nonetheless, if you've enjoyed this video or found it useful or informative or arousing or any other sort of uh, feeling, please express this feeling by uh, subscribing to my channel and pressing the like button and the bell icon so you get notified when all my new videos come out. And, of course, check out my Patreon page where you get all sorts of exclusive content and uh, the chance to have your name featured on the credit of every single video. Ooh, exciting, eh? Yeah. Um, so, but until next time, guys, <laughs> that was smooth, wasn't it? Until next time, I will be Bobby Freeman. Stay safe, my friends, and goodbye.